Thor here, and today I want to talk about how to install an air conditioner in your boat for under $200. So, real quick, behind me, I have a window mount air conditioner. I will not be mounting this in the window, it won't be hanging out the side of my boat. I'm actually going to be mounting this on the roof, and I'll show you how to do that. It's not as hard as you might think. It can actually be very simple. Now, I've seen several video tutorials where people show how to do it, and it is incredibly complicated. I'm not going that route. It will be very simple and uh, fairly easy. So stick with me for the video. I'll show you how everything works and we'll go from there. So pardon my dog. She's been tapping her tail. She's happy as, as usual. Hi dog. Anyway. So this is the air conditioner, these are some of the components you'll need. So window mounted air conditioner, this is a 5000 BTU air conditioner, I bought it for 130 bucks, brand new. This is a very simple model, you can get more complex models, smaller, bigger, everything in between. It's all going to come down to price. This one just has a simple uh, thermostat that you can, you can change from minimum cool to maximum cool, and then it has an actual switch for the level of cooling that you want to use. The next thing here is um, the vent. So this is going to be the vent. This is actually the same vent that you would find that they mount on top of a house. And uh, I figured if it's good enough for on top of a house, it should be good enough for the boat. So this vent is probably going to take the spot of my fire extinguisher, or fire alarm, excuse me, not extinguisher. Um, and it's going to probably go right up here on the roof. So you can kind of get a, an idea of how that would work right there. And so the air conditioner itself is going to go up here on the roof. It's going to be attached to that vent with just some simple, simple um, air duct. You know, this plastic serrated crap. It's okay. It's not the best stuff, honestly. And then, obviously, you need a, a big drill bit to drill a big hole in the top of your boat if you're going to be ducting through the roof. And then, of course, uh, the way that that air hose is going to attach to the air conditioner is basically, pardon me Sheila, come here, over here, is basically, uh, sorry my dog's distracting me, uh, the, the, you'll build a cowling that goes over this top part of the air, air conditioner, so this is where the air comes out, so you'll build a small cowling, I'm going to use poster board, that's foam poster board, and it's just going to come out, and the, uh, the uh, tube is basically going to get stuck right to the bottom of that and it's very simple. So it's going to suck in fresh air, so that means I'll have the option to run the fan and bring in fresh air, or I can turn on the air conditioner and bring in fresh air from outside. You can get more uh, more intuitive and, and complex. You can actually make it recycle the air inside your house by attaching a another duct to the front of this, which will, uh, obviously, this is the intake for the air conditioner. This is where the outtake is. So. If you attach another duct to the front of this, it'll suck the air up in, and of course it'll come out and it'll go into that tube. I'm not going to be ducting the front, at least not yet. I just don't think I'll need to where I live. Honestly, it only gets up to about 110 here, and this little air conditioner is more than powerful enough to cool, my, cool down my massive boat. So, that's really all it takes. It doesn't take a lot, and everything here was well under 200 bucks. Like I said, the air conditioner was 135 brand new. That vent I think was like 17 bucks and that that uh, air tube was oh I think it was like four dollars and then the the actual saw there these these are kind of nice uh, well they're I would say that the low low end of nicer tools these master circle saws they're they're dirt cheap you can pick them up brand new for 20 bucks so overall this whole system was fairly inexpensive and then of course poster board which is also dirt cheap. So this is fairly easy and I'll show you some more video and pictures as, as everything progresses. So something I forgot to mention coming up here on my flybridge is that uh, these air conditioners are not waterproof so you really need to store them somewhere where they're or you need to install them somewhere where they're going to be protected from the elements. Right here is what they call the, the doghouse. It's the it's the covered part of uh, my flybridge. It's where you get a bunch of storage. And this is where my air conditioner is going to go. Now the only parts on them that aren't really waterproof, the backs of them are, or water resistant I should say, but the controls and generally some of the circuit boards which are housed in the front here are not. So always make sure 
that you put these either under a cover where they can still get fresh air, like I'm doing right here, or that you put them, or, or well, quintessentially, you would have to get really intuitive and start taking all, all the electronics and moving them to a more remote location. So I've kind of got the air conditioner where I want to be. The next thing I got to do is drill a giant hole right about where I want to duct that vent. So that's going to go right here and uh, I'll get to that. So as you can see I've removed all my animals from the scene and I have laid down a black trash liner. This is going to collect all the fiberglass that's going to fall um, from the roof that I'm going to drill through and of course the wood dust as well. Don't really care about the wood dust, it's more that fiberglass that matters to me more than anything else. And this is the giant tool I'm going to be using for this, which is already loose. There we go. So basically, I'm just going to stick this up here and I'm going to drill like a madman. But uh, be careful, sometimes these cool tools come undone. <laughs> uh, yeah. So first off and foremost, I'm going to place my vent kind of approximately where I want it. So I'm probably going to put it right about here-ish, yeah, right about here. So I'm going to have to remove my fire alarm. So that's going to have to go somewhere else, no big deal. And I'm going to probably put it right here, right there. And that's not perfectly centered in my boat, you probably can tell. Maybe you can't, maybe you can. But it's actually centered on the hallway of my boat, so that way it gets more air in the hallway and everywhere else. So that's going to go right there. I'm going to pull that down. I'm, uh, I'm kind of simple, I just line things up with my eyes, if it looks good enough to me I go for it. I'm not a perfectionist like that. Don't need to get the tape out and measure and do 500 measurements, just go for it. That was right about there, which looks fairly dead center. Move it over one step. And then I like it where it was before. Now comes the messy part that out of the way, Try to get this spinning the right way. So in all of my experience, I'm going to throw this out there, if you're using large hole saws, run them real fast at first until the hole saw just starts to bite and then slow them down to your, your first speed on the drill. So I'm on second speed right now. A lot of people would say be wearing gloves and safety glasses and masks and all this other stuff. I'm too old school for that stuff. Just get it in there, get it going, and get done. It's been about another 20-30 minutes while I look for a battery. We finally found one. Time to keep going. Alrighty, and we're through. <laughs> it's always, always amazes me how thick my fly bridge is. For anybody wondering, that how thick the fly bridge on my boat is. It's about, uh, I'd say, three quarters of an inch of fiberglass, one inch of plywood. Not bad. The plywood they use looks actually pretty good. So, yeah, that. Now, ideally, you want to seal all of this. I'm not going to do that in this video, but uh, it will be done. <sighs> Let's see how that vent looks. All the fiberglass and dust off of this. Hey, look, what do you know it fits? That should be the trick, I should think. So I'll get that screwed in and we'll move on to the next step. So we're back up on the fly bridge. So I, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, 
right here is the hole that this pipe is going to go into. So what you do is you take this little flat plastic piece and you kind of weave this thing in there and then you'll just basically push that pipe into that hole which I'll get the camera in there I'll show you. So there's the hole, there's the air conditioner. So we're going to take this pipe and we're going to put it into that hole. Let's set these screws down. Ugh. And we're going to screw this on like so. So that way the pipe goes in the hole. And then we're just going to route this pipe right up here to the air conditioner. i got to build a custom cowling that goes over this. I'm going to build that on a poster board, but right now the poster board's in, on the way. So, we'll get to work on this. So it's way later in the day. Now I'm gonna build the actual duct for this right here. So this is actually easy to do. You just use foam poster board and uh, you cut it kind of to the shape. You score it and cut it. So it's not hard to do what whatsoever. So essentially, you build this piece here. The air goes in this hole, comes out this hole. Some people might say that's really restrictive. It is a little bit, but it's not that bad. Not as bad as you'd think. Most of these uh, air conditioners actually only have a hole about that big that all the air is coming out anyway. So this is going to go on here. I'm going to tape it down. And basically, I'm going to attach my vent to that hole at the bottom right there. And uh, it's as simple as that. Not too terribly complicated. All right, so now I've got my uh, fancy ductwork here attached to the air conditioner. I think I'll give it a test out and see how that works. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn the air conditioner on. Oh yeah, I can feel lots of air coming out of that. And think of how I can demonstrate it. Just a little bit of tape. Let's see. Lots of wind. So all I did was I just ducted it. That's all I did. So all the air coming out of this now goes down 
which this will connect to which this will connect to the pipe that goes into my uh, vent. I don't feel any air coming out around here, so I should be pretty good to go. So let's go put this on the roof and see how that goes. And well, that does it. So as you can see, it's just a real simple setup. You just have to uh, build a duct for your air conditioner to point the air down. So now I'll draw fresh air in from outside when I turn on just the cooling fan. And then of course, I can turn on the actual air conditioner to get actual cold air in as well. So I've got it working now and uh, it's turned on, the air conditioner's going on. You can feel cold air coming out. You can see it is coming out. I wouldn't say it was as strong as it used to be, but it's still pretty strong. It's got a good flow, so I mean it'll definitely cool down the boat quite a bit. I think the cat approves, so that's good. But yeah, so this is how you uh, install an air conditioner for under 200 bucks on your boat. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Hopefully that helps somebody.